Good morning, everybody, on this little Friday. It is a Thursday, June 23rd. I'm Chris Allen here on the SAM channel, Facebook and YouTube, sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. With your Thursday morning weather update, yesterday we hit a high of 99. 99, officially. At the Bowling Green Airport, uh, 88 is where we should be. That's 11 degrees above average. And it was only three degrees shy of the record high temperature for the day, 102, set back in 1901. It was a hot day. Some of you did get some scattered showers, briefly, some pop-up thunderstorms. But remember, I said not everybody's going to get the shower activity yesterday, it was very widely scattered just here and there, and then they faded away after dark. And as you see by the radar satellite this morning, everything is gone. Now, you'll note some leftover clouds and maybe some patchy fog down in the Lake Cumberland area and the Cumberland Plateau in Middle Tennessee. As you're headed toward Nashville, you'll run into some cloud cover and some patchy fog. But notice the frontal boundary. That's the cold front that helped spark some of the showers yesterday. It's just north of Bowling Green, and it's going to continue to push southward as we go through the day. And behind that cold front is cooler, less humid air. It's, it's well, it's not here yet, but right behind the front, you can feel it. Folks to the north are feeling it already. We're still warm this morning as of uh, almost 5 a.m. Uh, the temperature is 77, and it's still very muggy outside this morning. So uh, just give it some time. We'll be fine as we go through uh, the morning and into the afternoon, especially. It's going to feel a lot better. And here's proof of that. You can see by the Kentucky Mesonet sites to the north of us, it is in the low to mid-60s. That's where the front has already uh, come through this morning. South of that front where we are, temperatures are still in the 70s, very much so, across the area. So we're still under that muggy air, and it's still warm. But give it time by late this afternoon, and especially this evening, uh, we're going to feel you know, some better weather. We're going, it's going to feel cooler and less humid. Uh, today, by temperature wise, it's going to feel uh, much cooler. Uh, here's a look at uh, the forecast temperatures as we're starting out at 75, but Louisville starting out at 69, and so is Lexington. You can see that cooler air just north of us this morning. And then the warmer air south of the front into the 70s, even mid-70s to the south. So I'll put this in the motion and you can watch how we progress during the day. Now we are still going to get close to 90, if not hitting 90 today. But that's better than 99. And by afternoon, that 90 is going to feel like 90 and it's not going to feel like 100 or more. That's the way it felt yesterday. Um, uh, so this will be a dry 90, not a humid 90 tonight. We'll feel much better. We'll, uh, start to feel some cooler air working its way in during the nighttime. We'll go down to the mid sixties, about 67 or so for an overnight low. Look at some of these, uh, temperatures North of us, low sixties as that, uh, Cooler air, that drier air takes over for just about everybody as that front goes south of us into Tennessee. And then as we get into the day tomorrow, we'll say upper 80s, 88, 89, and that lower humidity. Um, dew points are only going to be in the upper 50s to about 60. So it's not going to be quite as humid. It's going to feel a bit more comfortable than it. Uh, did yesterday, and um, that will be nice and refreshing. 
All right, let's take a look at the map features here, and I'll show you how things are going to progress over the next few days. There's that cold front this morning with those waves of low pressure, but we're tapped down on moisture, high pressure to the south of us, and uh, including the Gulf of Mexico capping off or putting a lid on uh, the moisture advancing northward, even though it's, it's here, it feels muggy. There's nothing except that front to trigger it. Now, there might be a renegade shower or two somewhere today along that front, but everything else is going to stay fairly quiet because we've got a lot of drier air working in behind it. Here we are about midday. The front is south of us into Tennessee. We go into this evening and then uh, tonight into Friday morning, high pressure, nice cooler drier high pressure taking over and then you see the next storm out west of us taking shape this is the one that's going to come in and bring us some uh, badly needed rain uh, once we get into sunday so friday evening uh friday afternoon evening into friday night saturday we've got a little bit of a trough here some showers along that front south of us, which turns warm uh, out ahead of the main system. And then as we get into Sunday, it approaches with a good chance of showers and thunderstorms and a wave or two of low pressure riding along that front. So the rain chances do look a lot better once we get into eh, maybe Saturday, night, but especially Sunday and into Monday leftover showers in the area but then another big ridge of high pressure takes over as we get into monday and tuesday wednesday all pretty quiet here and temperature is not as warm we're talking about mid to upper 80s uh as we begin next week in fact i can show you that uh, on the model viewer which we always take a look at, and I'll show you projected temperatures. There's, you know, that chance of rain, it may not bring a, a, all the rain that we need this weekend, but it will help matters in the short term. So here we go with around 90 today or near 90. Then you've got 91 maybe tomorrow or around 90 uh, once again. Then uh, 94 on Saturday and Sunday will even hit 95 or close to it, depending on the timing of the, the next front and the showers that may need to be adjusted. But the result is after that showers leave us Monday morning and we're at a cooler 84, 84 again on Tuesday. Here we go into Wednesday, 89. We do warm back into low to mid nineties for the end of June, and then we've got July 1st, which is next Friday. Then we've got Saturday the 2nd. This is Thunderfest, 94 with sunshine, 93 for July 3rd. So we're going to teeter-totter between the 90s and have a break for Sunday, Monday, into Tuesday as far as temperatures. And then we're going to go right back into the 90s, but hopefully not as bad as it has been of late. All right, this morning, coming up on my radio show at SAM 100.7, more winning. Yesterday, I gave away Beach Bend tickets, Kentucky Kingdom tickets, Thunderfest tickets, Holiday World tickets. Uh, I've got all that stuff. So listen for your cue to call. I just take it at random. There's no rhyme or reason or planning into it. It's just like, okay, let's give away something. And so it could be in the middle of a, uh, two songs or it could be at a commercial break or sometime or another. So, you know, listen, that way you get your chance to win. A lot of people did win yesterday and we'll have a lot of people win again today. All right. God bless you. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you on the radio Sam 100.7. Have a great day.